Moleni, Moleni. Welcome to another Mathe Madonna video. Thank you for clicking play. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. It costs you absolutely nothing, but it does wonders for me. It helps me get these videos to as many people as possible. Today is Saturday, the 14th of September. It is my best friend's birthday. It's Clementine's birthday and Clementine is a runner. She's the one who got me into jogging and running. So today is a 5k fun run that she wanted us as her friends to do for her birthday. And because I'm new to this running thing, I didn't know you had to register. But you know what? I'm still gonna go and I don't have to have a medal. I don't have to have, I guess, I don't know. I don't know something that says I ran from the program if I can run beside her and her mom then I am good and I don't yeah even if I don't I don't know I don't have like what's that a number thing because I'm doing it for her birthday and yes I forgot to register because I didn't know you had to register for these things I just thought you go in you get a number and then you're good so that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna go running for 5k and you know the best part about it is today is day 75 of 75 lord i don't know how we've made it but we have made it so let me quickly get brush my teeth and get out because i still need to drive to town this is happening in greenpoint and i don't have much time Guys, getting parking was a nightmare, but we made it. We are here now. Why did I not find this parking? You see people who know what they are doing, who have been here multiple times. I mean, I had to pay 20 rand for not having to pay 20 rand. Like, it was not necessary for me to pay that 20 rand, but I didn't know that there's parking here. Because if I don't, I would have done it anyway. I'm here now. Hello, what are you trying to achieve? Turn your shirt. Are you are you a big big achiever? Right. Are you going to achieve and finish today? And then go. Stop talking to me. Nice thing is the view. I could run here. This is a fun run walk, so you can't really get like running, running. You run, and then there's a lot of people in front of you walking, so you have to walk when there's space. You Parachute through. Oh, there we go. Here's my people. 
The person who's not the runner in the group got here first. I'm just saying, before the birthday girl who runs 10k, just like this, and I got here before her. And they gave me this. What? Okay, Clem says I must go catch her at the finish line. She's almost done. There are so many people. Now I'm rushing to find her. You know that trail because a bit and then it's not a I feel like the I It's me. <laughs> Hello, darling. What are we doing now, darling? We are going to do some birthday activities. Okay. Some mature 30 demure activities. Okay. Like shooting me off a freaking building. <laughs> <laughs> Step we one. Even GPS. Step one. Shoot me off a building. Okay. We need to GPS. Um, What's it called? Skyride. Okay, okay, you do it. We know it's in town, so you can take the highway. Yeah. Sky. Okay. We are at Sky Hotel to do the sky thing. I don't know what it's called. Sky High Rise. Sky High Rise. I hope it's still available. Um, and yeah. Good. Hello. Hello. I'm praying it is available. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. It's quite dark. There. That's so funny. Hey. <laughs> hey. Do you have one? Oh, let's go. So when you go on the ride, I keep like a GoPro video. Is it? <gasps> Serious? Oh wow. That is, oh, that's the video that we were seeing there. Wow. And the and screaming. Enjoy the sky. Hey. 
So you guys and you guys are still waiting, no? So while you guys are still waiting, you can have a look around. If you want to like take nice pictures, if you go in the left now, no? you're in a place number 26, that's our restaurant. It has a view of the whole city. So nice. you look down on everyone on okay. 26, no? Okay, let's do and that. You can take your pictures for Table Mountain, yeah. everything. Nice. Thank no? you for plugging us. Yeah. Yeah. So that you have views, man, nice pictures and experience mm. the place. Yeah. Mm. You see? It's true. Press Are you on the Wi Fi? I'm on the Wi Fi. Okay, press 20, right? 26. 26, okay. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, we'll be back. Like a nice on Is it? Seven. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. To the DJ. We're all for that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy. We'll do. We're going to see the views at 26. 26 Infinity Restaurant. Because your memory is full. Let's go. Do I look like a cool kid? Yes. Do I care? Absolutely not. Does she look like a cool kid? Yes. Does she care that she does though? No. <laughs> It's a lot of people. There's no time for laughter there. There's no time for smiling. You did so good to me. Let me look at your pictures again. Yeah. Chill out them. Did you send yourself pictures? Yes. Chill out them. Oh, who's this? She's very pretty. Does it also have better? Embracing the journey. The journey could be anything, babe. Who also. are you? Who are you is the big question. No, so you're very pretty. And why am I so following you? In 2022, the yeah, child is two years old. She get married. Who is this person? Who is this person? Now I have to like it because now she's gonna see I liked and I liked. And also, this is at the bottom. I'm just gonna think I was stalking her. Kind of work. No, I just saw this picture and I was like, I don't know this person. I genuinely don't know this person. 
And also, Suzy did say that she started seeing people on her feed that she's not following. Like, what does that mean? Because that now sounds scammy. Are they gonna take my money? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why does everyone have to take money? Because <laughs> it sounds scammy. <gasps> oh, my news. <laughs> the screams. <laughs> we went crazy. I love that shirt. Like, I genuinely lost it. <laughs> Your face, I don't believe it. your face told me that I had one. <laughs> I was still, I was still asking myself, and then I turned to you, and I was like, "Yeah, yes, you yeah. had a one." Name. Yeah. Chalaka. Uh, to here. Chalaka. Yes. Okay, so I posted next, and I was like, "Is that how you spell Misty?" <laughs> I posted this, and then in the shower, I had like an existing say an existential crisis was mm. like is that how you spell loose or is it double or you see people are gonna be like you're 30 and <laughs> you should know loose <laughs> okay so we're at the top of the building now it's crazy it's wild clementine is going up she's doing the ride i am a spectator and i'm gonna be recording the whole thing i'm excited so the if it's your birthday the ride is free do you hear me? If it is your birthday, the ride is free. Uh, if it is not your birthday and you want to do it, I think it's 200, if not 250. And for me, as a spectator, it's 50 rand. So, that's where we at. Super cool. Oh, look at the views.
Now we are at a sip and paint in Greenpoint. Definitely go book yourself. What? Are you... What do people do during vlogs? They they, they don't interfere. Yeah. I did press ground. No, he said basement. Oh, I don't interfere. Yeah. Should I act normal? Okay. <laughs> we are um, in Greenpoint. We are going to a sip and paint, and this is the last event of the day that's location <laughs> okay let's go the room must the price this looks so good me it reminded me of the drop that's east i think i'm scarred forever do you want to tell people how you feel i need therapist guys sky what is it called sky ride sky high ride yes shocking why do you think you can just like drop people like did you not know this beforehand? I did know it beforehand, but like experiencing it, it's just like, how dare you? Okay, okay that. What do you mean? That's true. Okay. Am I glad I did it? So and she enjoyed it. Yes. All in all, she had the best time of her life. She recommends people to do it. Please go do it. Okay. <laughs>
voice. Um, today is Sunday, and today is a big day because today, today, my dad is getting ordained as a pastor. For clarity, my dad has been a pastor for over 15 years. Um, his lead pastor in the Eastern Cape gave them, you know, the well, the word gave them, gave us all, go make disciples, but um, was very much so about planting churches and evangelizing through that method. And a lot of them from the church are pastors now and lead congregation congregations. Um, so my dad did the same thing, just like everyone was given the mission and he planted a church in Cape Town. And from there, he was just like kind of never ordained and that pastor has soon passed away. So my dad and my mom since reconnected with his wife and they just basically went through the process of my dad becoming an elder in the church again, um, the church that he was part of originally and then becoming a pastor at that church and then going it's a little bit complicated then going then to open like a, a sub branch of that bigger church does that make sense so it was all of them were here in this church and then all of them went psh, opened their own churches one of my dad was also one of those who went psh, opened his own church and then i think a few years back he decided to go back and join his bigger i guess church and from there he is now going to be ordained as a pastor and he's out on his own. So he still has his church, but he's now only being ordained. Um, they were just prayed for originally and sent out. So now he's getting, I guess, I don't know what ordination really means, to be honest, but it means that. It always looks like a graduation when I see it. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably what I want to clear up, that yes, it's his ordination, but he's been a pastor for over 15 years. Um, so it's quite a big deal for my family and me um, not because we feel like he's getting the recognition that he deserves but I think for him in his journey um, with being a pastor it's not really it's really not easy and being a pastor's kid I only experience half of what he experiences so it's a big deal we want to say thank you to him for being consistent for you know putting in the work in his own prayer life so that he can pour into all of us so we are going to celebrate Utadmatola today i'm excited and looking forward to it um it's part of the church service at 10 and right now it's 25 past so i have five minutes basically to get myself ready so i don't get there late i don't want to get there late because if I'm late, I'm probably not going to sit with my family and stuff. I've invited some of my friends. My sister's in-laws are coming as well. So it is a big thing. And this is what I am wearing. I am wearing this dress. Very cutesy. Yes, Anna. Very cute. Um, so yeah, let's quickly get ready. And go to dad's ordination. The other thing I was thinking is, hey guys, there's so many songs for mothers. Like I have songs and songs. If you were to ask me to sing a song for my mom. Oh, also my mom is being, I guess, in, put into like the eldership of the church. Um, which is also, I don't know if you all get ordained for that, but like that's also what's happening for her today, which we're happy about. And that's her first step into being then ordained as a pastor. You first become an elder in the church and then you become a pastor, it seems like. So, yeah. Uh, oh, songs. I have no songs. I have songs for my mom. Galore. Do I have songs for my dad? Zello. Zero. I said zero. Zero. So if anyone knows any songs for, I'm actually gonna post this on TikTok and see if I get any responses like soon while I'm on my way there. I'm gonna quickly post it and then see. Cause Sana, I don't know any songs to sing 
for my dad. And one thing about my dad, Zana, he deserves it. <laughs> of everything people could say, a bad thing about my dad doesn't exist. If it does exist, keep it to yourself. Because we don't care here. <laughs> we don't care. So if you know any songs, because his birthday is also coming up on the 28th of September, so please put them in the description. Any songs, you know, Dada Parade, please, or even just parents in general. I could sing that for his birthday on the 28th. Oh, I just realized I haven't brushed my teeth. I have less than five minutes now. Which is why my voice sounds like crazy. I sing my malobe pala lengwati. I sing my malobe pala lengwati. By being my mangete tiye sanalwam. By being my mangete tiye sanalwam. What's another one? Tin chen chen chen. Kumama. Classic. I feel like my phone is ringing. Din jen 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 gumam dili yoko yoko din jen 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 gumam din jen 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 gumam. That's another one. And this is a hard one. A bendino mama. A sendini pebo twang up and billy. O gwen in India amba. O gwen in India beggar call him nano sana yum. Dear God, dolly oh. Dear God, dolly ming in ale rakinta kama mam. Ion diamba. Kel, let's go. My powder is white, and I think, ladies, let's agree on getting a cream powder because the white, Sana, sometimes you look like a ghost. Hallelujah. We've called the Majolas, Pastor Majola, 
na bomme no mamfundis mamtsona haleluya and the entire congregation of work of hope haleluya today we are even blessed pastor 20 is here with us haleluya amen pastor kendi just wave your hand so that people can see you amen sia bulela kata pastor kendi is the congregation in kyalisha also haleluya i just want to say to the congregation was abane base kyalisha sia nyamukela haleluya we are excited that we gonna na namhlanje and we are going to have great time in the presence of the lord Hallelujah. We do have a Yeah. 
I'm one person who believes that there's so much harvest that we should be ordaining all the time because the harvest is, uh, is ready. For our church, we need more workers. For our church in the, in the township, we need more workers. And I'm happy to see that God is multiplying the ministries in the church. The church is growing and God is going to help us. So I'm going to call uh, our apostles. So uh, our apostle uh, Ray and then uh, our GO, Apostle Mahonda, to come and uh, hold, the, hold the service. So they can just come forward here and then they will have got the list and we... See, we believe in our church, you have to be ordained. You know, you don't just walk up and say, today I'm a pastor, I'm a, you know, I'm a deacon, I'm what? So people are ordained. So thank you, Pastor Mahon. Thank you. The first part that we're going to do, want to do something. So she said, deacon. Yeah, they throw me. She said, it's pastor, elder, and then a deacon. And these are the names. This side is the rivers. They are, the, the three are elders, and then the two are deacons. Yeah. I mean, God bless you. I just want to say these two things before we lay hands on you, particularly the elders um, and the pastor. The Bible says uh, the gift of God is without repentance. In other words, um, if God has given a gift as a pastor, um, it will remain the same. It will, you can go out and cheat people, you know, the only difference is that the anointing has been removed. So now, if you ordain as a pastor, be loyal to your ministry. Uh, our mama, as elders, be loyal to the local church ministry as an elder. And God to bless you, everybody. This is not a promotion. Uh, this is a calling. Uh, we're going to minister the Lord. And may God be with you. And the, the, the deacons uh, serve God in a capacity uh, of temporal material things in your local assembly. You don't have to be told, do this and do that. Ask God, to, the Holy Spirit, to remind you. And even the elders see that you minister. Don't wait for the pastor to give you a pulpit. Bring people to the Lord. Hey, what are they? In the name of Jesus, pray now for this man of God. We ordain him as a pastor, Pastor Majola. We pray that God you may do such a wonderful favor unto him. We pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, you have called him to do the work. And we pray that, God, that work must go on. We pray that, God, you are forever. So let my children, we ordain her as an elder in the church. We pray that, God, thy spirit may be upon her we pray that god what she's doing she must keep on doing in the name of jesus we pray that god you may help her that he may stand when the storm comes he must stand we pray and we ordain him that he may do the work in a proper way and father we pray that god you may do a wonderful help in the church we pray knowing that God, you are going to do it because you are God. And the Lord is saying to you, Mom, that I have seen what you are doing. Now, Okay guys, I am almost done packing for John's bag. I'm just going to take this bag and this backpack. Mainly, probably going to be just 
I don't even know what's gonna be in here. Probably my camera, um, my phone and charges are gonna be here. And I have this bag. And I don't think I should take, yeah. And then I have this bag as a bag to carry. But I think everything is packed and I'm almost ready. My flight leaves at 11, no, at 10 something. But I still have a bit of time. So let's see uh, what else we can do quickly before going to the airport. I need to go withdraw money because I'm going to have to Uber or like Bolt, uh, DD, and I might need to pay cash. Oh, yeah. I'm already feeling tired only because I slept late. Um, I don't know why I slept so late yesterday. I don't even know what I was watching. Um, but I'm feeling tired, so I'm going to sleep on the plane. And I thought I was going to do some stuff. But I'm going to end up sleeping on the plane. I thought I was going to write my speech. Um, but I'm really tired, so I really might sleep. Okay, and we are boarding. I'm here quite early, to be honest with you. Do I wish I was on Ethiopian Airlines going somewhere else other than Johannesburg? Yes. You know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. Gosh. Why is the line doing too much? Okay. It's busier than I thought it would be. Especially for like a morning, like late morning. But okay. It's packed. Oh, okay. They say we should make our way to the gate. So early. Oh, this is not where you enter. You enter the other um, other way. Johansson have been this on my airline. Wins are sell up hands for no reason. on the other side right doesn't look like the plane is full also so that's good I guess And I am going to my friends. I'm excited. This is the end of this vlog. Please do like and subscribe to the channel. Costs you absolutely nothing, but it does wonders for me. It helps me get these videos to as many people as possible. Love you, Kesana. Um, yeah, travel was nice. I wasn't triggered. I thought I was gonna be triggered with the, you know, Atlanta guy, but no, I wasn't. There was a huge group of tourists from America but yeah I slept the whole way through and I'm excited to be in Joburg this time around well even last time but I'm excited to be in Joburg Zeniti I've been to Buza Nam Bindilab Bye